Hey, what's up? Made it to Friday. I made it to Friday. Again, this is the analysis and friends one. I am definitely not going to do this a second time because I have gotten a very high score on this one. And as great as it is to get 23,000 points, although I'm sure I've just jinxed myself, I don't think I'll be doing that again next week. I'm going to try that. Uh, Geo better, I think that was posted here. Forget who exactly posted it, but thank you for doing it. And again, if you do have suggestions for maps you'd like me to try, I'll certainly do it. And if you also have like other games or ideas you'd like to see me play, I've got a few ideas, but if you got some, I'm all ears. If nothing else, I'm a man of many ears. It makes, uh, um, walking difficult. Took a very long time to get my feet ears all calloused up. So I could run. I mean, it also sucks going over like dirt roads or rocky paths because sometimes rocks get stuck in my many feet ear holes and it's just uncomfortable. I don't know where this is yet. Like, I think it's Canada. Just because I keep seeing speed limit 50. However, I've not seen enough to convince me one way or the other. So I'm going to go this way. And try to figure out where this is. Like, I almost feel like this is one of those type maps. If you were a clever person, although I don't know how clever it is to do this, but... Uh, put yourself in a road and then you have a 50-50 chance like you can go one way and you'll find absolutely zero information to help you but if you go the other way like two clicks away it'll tell you all the information you need and it, then it'd be really easy to game the system with like oh I'm not two clicks I haven't found where I'm supposed to be I'll hit the other one so great idea in concept not in practice three rivers casino resort well, Three Rivers, there's a Pennsylvania Three Rivers. Uh, it's a casino. This still hasn't told me anything. Like, see these plates. I'm a little panicky. I think this one I've actually jinxed myself, and I'm definitely not going to get, uh, get 20-something thousand this time. Like, there, there's Gold Coast. It makes me... Is, is it, there's a lot of Gold Coast. And the problem is, this doesn't feel like California. This probably is in California, but I've, I may have overthought myself. South Coast Shopper. God, see, this, this is making me angry that 52 seconds, nothing has revealed itself to me. State Forestry, Coast Forest protected Dest Bay Park. Where the hell are we? This is taking all my concentration in 30 seconds to try to come up. Coos River, Allegheny. God damn it, I've heard Allegheny before. Uh, well, it's American flags. We are in America, so this is definitely not Canada. Uh, give me something. Give me something. This is a Cracker Barrel. No, this is Fun Center. Adult Fun Center. Hey, you know it's ser serious when there's no windows. Uh, Coos, Brandon, Ivy. This is probably going to be Louisiana, isn't it? Or Pencil. Oh, it was Oregon. Okay. In Coos Bay. All right. I got close. Do I deserve that one? Definitely not. But now that that distraction is out of the way, let's get down to brass tacks. And that's. Me trying to actually talk and then not actually doing a very good job of it. Like I had all these things, things written out, plans, ideas. And then when it actually came to saying what they were, I would just mumble and bumble. I get real mad at it too. And again, it's elmo.ee. Uh, well, the EE doesn't. This, I don't think this is Estonia. This is Europe. I don't know where, though. 
But like last time in Monday, I also had things I wanted to talk about. And then after I'm done, I'm like, God damn it, all these things I wanted to say, I never said them. And I don't want to reiterate too much. Is that a shit? No, it's not a shit. It's a Citroen. Um, so maybe I haven't completely talked about it. But again, it's it, it's that whole, I kind of disappeared and came back. And then what helped me at the time was uh, I heard someone talk about one of the issues I can have. It's a Wooly Figures It Out. It's a podcast I listen to. And it was one of the first episodes we put out. And you always know, talked about the paralysis of uh, starting anything, where you think you've got all these ideas and plans, a great thing, and then when it actually comes to putting pen to paper, you freeze. And then you're just like, either you're, you're far too critical, nothing ever comes out the way you want, and you just end up in like a frust frustrative paralysis, in a sense. Sure sock. I'm just going to say right now that where in Estonia, but I'm sh this it, it will not stay this way. I have a feeling. Um, and it it just took them uh, him saying basically fuck it, just put it out. Maybe this is Finland af after all. I don't know yet. And it's funny how like the the most obvious stuff when I really listen to like advice shows and uh. People ask the dumb questions, and you're like, well, that was obvious. And it's funny how it takes someone saying the obvious thing to your problem because you, you think you are different compared to everybody else because, hey, it's you. Everyone else's problems are so obvious and easy to figure out, but yours is the real tricky one. And it just takes someone being like, well, just, you know... Think about it. Is it really worth your time? You're like, whoa, I never thought of that. Whereas every other person on the, whoever heard or listened to, say it was on the radio, listened to what you're talking about, is like, of course, idiot. And then they think about their problems and somehow they're a special snowflake. But can I get over here? Thank you. And mine wasn't any different. And it's just the whole thing of, whoa, whoa, zoom out. Thank you. Jarvik Bar. Where I felt like, man, everything that I, I, I want to do or think, hey, lady, you standing up to the Google car, you, you, you do a good job, lady. It just takes someone actually saying your thing and actually being open to it and be like, no, you're right. My problem isn't any different than anybody else's. I just get so wrapped up in yourself that it does take someone repeating the obvious thing. And there was a Radio Lab podcast. Uh, oh, this may help me. Get me, get me, get me there. I want to see. Can I get to? Can I get over there? What just happened? Oh, well, I did get the uh, country right. I'm happy with that. Maybe dot ee -E is Estonia. Very well, could be. Well, we're on the north route one. So this is Florida potentially. VA outpatient clinic. Well, let's see. Does Florida have a route? Well, I don't know how the route number uh, starts. Well, let's blow this up a bit because this very well could be uh, Victoria Motor Inn. I don't know. Okay, yeah, here's the one. I believe the one is a very, yeah, the one goes all the way through. So this 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 can be anywhere here in Florida. But as I said, just take someone saying the obvious thing and you're like, no, wait, you're right. So instead of me just always being like, everything I do here, it's dumb. I just actually have to put it out and just stick with it. Be willing to accept that, hey, it's not going to be perfect the first time you put out, the second, third, tenth. You just have to keep doing it and eventually the incremental process, work, and thought put into it will eventually, well, I'm not going to say solve itself, but your work honing in if you want to call it that it's eventually going to work out you're going to improve on it but you just have to keep doing it so accept the awful be you know totally fine with it being that and uh going on from there building on it working on it always improving just put it out and i've i've kind of came to that a lot of the time 
What do we got? Key West. Oh, so we are in Key West. Uh, is there a base here? We're on the one. But you just, Roosevelt Boulevard. That's, this, Key West is a big thing. Sloppy Joe's bar. All right, we're back here in front of a VA. Maybe we're over here? It doesn't feel like it. Like, this is... Oh, what's that say? What's this say? Naval Branch Health Clinic. Well, it was... Uh, I just completely looked past it. And not just to keep reiterating, yes, that's how I'm going to do it. How I'm looking at it is, hey, can't get better if you just throw your hands up and quit. So know that I'm going to keep trying. Everything I do is, uh, maybe it's over here. I understand it's bad. I'm going to keep trying not to make it bad. There was a Roosevelt. But in order for that to work, South Roosevelt Boulevard. It's going to take me doing it more and more, coming at this with a bit more effort. Like, I've got some things I want to talk about, but I can't do that this week because it's not going to make much sense. I'm going to do it next week. And we got a Roosevelt. Where's South Roosevelt, though? I don't think I'm going to find it. But I think I've got it pretty well nailed down here. Ah, the golf cart. National, the state animal of Florida. <laughs> Actually, uh, no, wait, yeah, fuck it. If you live in Florida, that's your own fault. South A1A. Um, that may actually be over here because this is the A1A, isn't it? I think I'm good enough. I'm making guess. I was on the other side of the island. Whatever. So now we've got. El Matslico. This is a big giant fence. It's a dirt road. Potential Spanish. Um, no clear choice yet. Let's see what we got here. Bo well, we're on the border, clearly. What side? I can't tell yet. Um, let's just say we're around here somewhere. Maybe Laredo, Brownsville, or what was the one? Matamoros, the 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 sister cities. Let's, we got a Che Guevara truck. This is a, I say dump. Well, we're on the other side of the border here. Uh, I don't know where exactly yet, but we're just going to have to keep going until we find it. That's basically, I've just summed up the entire game of GeoGuessr. Transport this Mesa. They transport mazes. Big Bend National Park. Um, again, I don't know where we are, except this truck lights having Che Guevara on it. I'm surprised they let you cross the border with that on your truck. Border crossing people can, I, mean, I can understand their job. They kind of have to. I mean, granted, the only borders have crossed from the U.S. to another country has been Canada. And I can tell you, I'm not saying that Canada doesn't do a, a, a lack a daisical job or uh, the U.S. is too thorough, but there is a difference between the uh, two countries as far as a like, border crossing stuff. For one thing, Canada is super fast compared to crossing into the U.S. Uh, I don't know if it's a combination of just more people coming to the U.S. the time I went or what, but I know that it was significant. Like, like getting to Canada maybe took at the time, it wasn't a weekend. It was a Friday evening, I think I went. 
And maybe getting into Canada took all of five minutes, including sitting there answering the questions and uh, getting back to the U.S., which was on a Sunday around 11 in the morning. We were waiting about 30 minutes. And that's, you know, we didn't, I've never actually been in a vehicle that gets stopped and checked. So I don't know. Oh, we're in Tijuana. We're over here. Okay. I was on the wrong side of the border. That works for me. It almost seems out of place with the, the building. It's all these kind of, well, maybe not fancy buildings, but then it's just dirt roads everywhere. But hey, if it gets the point across, what's the matter? Does it say, okay, we got the road here. I feel I've gotten the place down. So I'm just not going to wait for it. Okay, we were, we were, we were here. Final one. If I had to summarize, our witch and Brewster. Not enough to tell me. This almost feels like Cape. Not enough to tell me yet. This is Route 6 West. Let's see if there is a Route 6 on Cape Cod. There is. We've got Brewster. Let's hit let's hit home again. Like, alright, so I guess I'll explain my logic why I thought this was like an island or a cape. It's just the way the road is. It's super narrow. A lot of sand makes me feel like a oceany section. So 124 to Brewster and Harwick. I can't well, it actually said we got Brewster and Harwick is where are we? Where are we? Harwich is down here. Again, the 124. Is this the 124 as well? It is. So we're like here, I think. I have to go and find that mileage marker on the road here. And I could just stop right now. I think I've nailed it. But Cape Cod, I'm not a fan of it. So they're heading west. So they're heading east. So I think I got, I think, I think I've got it. It would be handy if this actually said, um, oh, it does exit 10. Is that exit 10? Is this exit 10? It's exit 10 and a half mile. So we're heading this way to exit 10 and a half mile. So we're kind of like here. Can I see a Cape Cod rail trail? What's this sign say? Um, if I had anything to say about Cape Cod, Den five miles from Dennis and Denise, oh, give me, give me back. Where's Dennis? Hi, Ennis and Plymouth. Oh, there's Yarmouth. None of which I needed. Uh, hi, Ennis. Yeah, anything I had to say about Cape Cod, um, the sand smells funny, and whenever you came across a dead horseshoe craft, they definitely had an odor to them, and no thank you. Dennis, where the hell are you? And they're south, Dennis, so Dennis is there. Hyannis has to be close to around here. There's Hyannis, and then Plymouth. Mash P. I just like saying Mash P. So I think I've pretty much got this. I'm I'm wondering if I can actually get this within the uh is this the rail trail? This is the Freedom Ferry Exit 10. Well, this is a pathway. Usually they have a little sign saying where the bridge is, but this one does not. Uh I just passed give me load okay, here we go. Give me a little more. Harwick and Brewster is there. Okay. So we, we're actually, where's my, where's my thing? We're actually, uh, we're heading west. So we're like here, actually, I think. Let's, let's see if there was a, like a little trail that crossed over. Am I on the wrong side? I think it was that. Yeah, I think it was right. Cause I feel like that's the path that went over. I may be overthinking it, but I don't, I'm making my guess. Okay. I was off by two. <laughs> oh, we're, we, we were pretty well solid in the 23s, whatever. But again, that's going to do it for this week of uh, guessing, at least on this map. It was a good 
warm up, I guess, to get back into the swing of things. But just know next week I will be trying that Geo Better, whatever the hell it was called, Better Getter, whatever it's called. Um, again, if you got other suggestions for maps you want me to play, or even other games, let me know. Um, I'll be here. Hopefully you will be too. Uh, go enjoy your weekend, goddammit. That's an order. I'm going to try to as well. We'll see you later.